Hello my dear students, in this lecture we are going to learn scanning electron microscope. Now my dear students, to understand this scanning electron microscope, in previous lecture we have discussed about the tools in nanotechnology and in that tools I have discussed three microscopes, right, that is SEM, PEM and AFEM. So one by one we are learning these microscopes. This is a scanning electron microscope which is also called ESEM. Now initially initial letters are used to specify or to define that is ESEM. This is an abbreviation. Right. So my dear students here in this lecture we are going to understand scanning electron microscope but the that is in prerequisite I have explained the electron scattering then tunneling effect then the magnetic lenses and electrostatic lenses these topics i have explained in previous lecture only so i hope you have seen my previous lectures that is tools of nanotechnology so after that you came here this is my assumption and i will start this lecture now my dear students in this scanning electron microscope see there is a sample this sample is very small that is nanoparticle this sample is nanoparticle that is the size of this sample is nano size Right. And my dear students, on this nano size or this sample, whenever electron beam collides, let us say the electron beam is coming and strikes on this sample. Now, whenever this electron beam strikes on the sample, then we will get backscattered electrons, secondary electrons and X-rays. Now, let us understand what are these phenomena: Backscattered electrons, secondary electrons and X-rays. See, whenever a high energy electron beam strikes on the sample, now some electrons are scattered due to elastic scattering and same already I have explained in previous lecture as electron scattering right when your other electron beam strikes on the other particles then there will be electron scattering and the same is called this elastic scattering of the electron is called backscattered electron and these backscattered electrons will travel in this direction right then there are secondary electrons now some electrons are knocked off from the surface these are called secondary electrons. Let us understand. Now in this sample, there are some atoms. Now this nano size or nanoparticles are made with the help of some atoms. Now let us say the atomic model if I consider here there is a nucleus at the center and around this nucleus the electrons are revolving. This is the first cell in which there are two electrons. K cell or K orbit in which there are two electrons. Then there will be a L orbit. Right. In, in this EL orbit, there are again 8 electrons. Already you have seen such structures. Right. You have already seen such structures or atomic model. These are the electrons. And this is a nucleus. Right. Around this nucleus, these electrons are revolving. Again, there is, let us say, EM orbit. In this EM orbit, also there are electrons. Right. Now, likewise, K, L, M, N orbits. You have already studied this in chemistry in school level also. Now, my dear students, here, See, whenever this electron beam strikes on this sample, then on this surface, outermost orbit, we can say outermost orbit. Now, whatever the electrons, these electrons from the surface gets knocked off. And the same electrons are called secondary electrons. Right. And then, see, some electrons penetrates into the inner cell of the sample atoms to knock off inner cell electrons due to which characteristics X-rays are produced. Now, what is the meaning of this statement? See, whenever this electron beam is traveling, whenever this electron beam goes inside and strikes on the inside or inner cell electrons, and then these inner electrons gets knocked off. And because of this, whenever this inner cell electrons knocks off, then because of this, X-rays are produced. The same is called X-ray. Right, same is called X-ray. What I can say here, now let me delete this atomic model because this already you have studied no need to explain again in the examination in examination it is not expected to explain this atomic model whatever i have drawn here right now what you have to explain see whenever electron beam strikes on the sample then these electron beams goes back in the form of back scattered electron in the form of secondary electron and in the form of x-ray means this electron beam converts into three forms and my dear students all these three forms are analyzed in with the help of analyzer and after analyzing of these secondary electrons backscattered electrons and x-rays then they are magnified and they are shown on the monitor you will see the magnified image of this sample on the monitor so my dear students 
लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द स्केमेटिक व्यू और स्केमेटिक डायग्राम ऑफ द स्कैनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप एस ई एम नाउ हियर यू कैन सी द एक्चुअल डायग्राम ऑफ दिस स्कैनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप और सेटअप ऑफ दिस स्कैनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप यू विल सी हियर इलेक्ट्रॉन गन सी इट इज अ गन थ्रू विच द इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम इज कमिंग आउट दैट इज थ्रू दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन गन द इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम इज कमिंग आउट एंड देर इज अनोड नो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑन दिस एनोड वी विल प्रोवाइड पॉजिटिव चार्ज on this anode there will be a positive charge and we know that on this electron there is a negative charge therefore this electron beam is attracted towards this anode and as this electron beam is moving towards this anode we will form here hole there is a already hole on this anode therefore this attracted beam passes through this hole from the anode on the magnetic lens here there is a magnetic lens now my dear students so here the principle of we can say magnetostatic focusing is used already i have explained this principle of magnetostatic focusing in previous lecture now this magnetic lens is also called condenser lens so here i will write it is also called condenser lens right it is also called condenser lens now the electron beam from this anode travels towards this magnetic lens and my dear students in this magnetic lens there will be a focusing of this electron beam therefore there will be a focusing and my dear students focusing means they will get narrow size they will get narrow size size will decrease for this beam right and my dear students in this magnetic lens the size of electron is decreased up to 40 to 50 amstron size of electron means size of electron beam this beam size will decrease up to 40 to 50 amstron right amstron is a unit of measuring dimension already you know in the basic physics right now my dear students again this focus lens is passing through the scanning coil and here the purpose of this scanning coil is to deflect the electron beam in required direction this scanning coil can deflect this electron beam coming towards it in any desired direction let us say the deflection we have to obtain on the object or the sample here it is a sample so let us say this is a sample specimen or sample now the deflection must be on sample because we have to magnify this sample right so my dear students in this scanning coil this electron beam is deflected on this specimen through the again one magnetic lens here also there is a magnetic lens and this magnetic lens first magnetic lens is called condenser lens and second magnetic lens is called objective lens this is a objective lens through this objective lens again they are focused in first magnetic lens they are focused up to 40 to 50 amstron and again in second magnetic lens they are focused in a point right and this electron beam is traveling on the specimen and my dear students we already know that whenever the electron beam strikes on the specimen then we will get secondary electrons then back scattered electrons and x rays already we have seen this back scattered electrons is nothing but these are the electron scattering because of the elastic scattering of the electrons secondary electrons from the surface knock off surface electrons and x rays are the knock off electrons from the inner cells right that already i have discussed at the start of lecture and this secondary electrons back scattered electrons and x rays are sent to the analyzer and in this analyzer these are analyzed the intensity of these three are analyzed and analyzer will send on the monitor and on the monitor you will get enlarged or magnified image of this specimen right now my dear students whatever points i am discussing or mentioning here you have to pause the video and you have to write all the points because in examination only diagram will not give you full marks you have to explain each and every procedure right so i hope you are writing all these points right i am not wasting here time to write more points but already i have written all the important key points here and already i have explained you all the statements so my assumption is that as it is only theoretical part you have seen my previous lectures also if it is numerical or calculation part or derivation part or conceptual part always i have written each and every point on the that screen right but here as it is only theoretical part explaining diagram no need to write all the theory you have to pause the video and you have to write the theory whatever i am explaining here right so my dear students this is all the working principle see the electron gun will emit or will give us electron beam and this beam is focused on the specimen and this focusing is done through the anode then magnetic lens then scanning coil and then again objective lens that is magnetic lens 
right and whenever this electron gun focuses or strikes on the specimen then we will get secondary electrons back scattered electrons and x rays and these three that is all the three are analyzed and the intensity of all these three is analyzed with the help of analyzer and they are sent to the monitor to, for the display so let us understand the block diagram now to draw this 3d view in the examination it is difficult so my dear students in examination you can draw this block diagram also see there is an electron gun through which there is an electron beam is coming out and this electron beam is passing over the anode where anode is a positive charge electron beam is nothing but negative charge so there will be an attraction between them and anode is made with hole this hole is shown here through this hole this electron gun is passing over the condenser magnet that is electrostatic lens and through this it is focused and this focusing of this electron beam or electron gun is up to 40 to 50 amstron then again after focusing we are passing through the scanning coil so here scanning coil is shown this scanning coil is used to deflect this gun in the desired direction and again there is a objective lens which is also magnetic this objective lens is also magnetic right then through this objective lens again this electron gun is focused or electron beam is focused on the sample and through this sample after striking this electron beam on the sample we will get three different parameters that is secondary electrons back scattered electrons and x-rays and the intensity of all these three is analyzed in the analyzer and sent to the monitor for the display this is the working principle everything you have to write and if you draw this block diagram also it is sufficient only for the proper understanding i have given this 3d view thank you dear students in next lecture we are going to learn transmission electron microscope tem